Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the On Time On Target Morning Brief, where normally we talk about investing with fighter pilot precision. Today, we're going to talk about the exact opposite, and that's the uh, what's called swarm investing, or at least that's a new phrase uh, that's coming out with what's going on with Wall Street bets, uh, Reddit, uh, the Reddit room, you know, that we started with GameStop back in the day. It's affected some other names. AMC, the movie theater, is in play right now. Uh, just keeps going up day after day after day. Can it continue? We all know it can't, but there's no precision way to really approach this. Uh, you're relying on, you know, if you're in the room and you're relying on holding because everybody else is holding. Uh, if you're familiar, if you've had some theory in your life, a prisoner's dilemma, right? Eventually that, that, that falls through. And when it does, that's going to be an issue. But certainly you can't tell that to anybody that's sitting there printing money, you know, at 20% a day or more. And I do have a client involved that of course I've had a recommend sell on it. And I've been 100% wrong for the past like three days uh, as it just continues going higher. So is today going to be the day where AMC finally comes down? Well, I will tell you that it, there's a, they're, they're writing an episode of American Greed right now uh, that's going to come out, you know, a year from now after all of this is the difference between now and what GameStop did is the actions of the CEO and the C-suite, if you will. So GameStop largely stayed out of it as far as the leaders were just saying, hey, we know we appreciate that people like our stock and in, uh, in our company and I hope they buy it. You know, standard vanilla average CEO type speak. No corporate actions were taken other than just... Uh, Check that out. Uh, it, well, AMC is handling a little bit differently. Their CEO has been very active. He's on uh, CNBC quite a bit. He's talking aggressively about issuing new shares of stock, which they did. Uh, I think a couple hundred thousand shares, but I mean, just raising money because their company <laughs> is so hot right now. And it's just a really, uh, they're capitalizing on it. Uh, is it legal? Yeah, I don't think there's any, I mean, a company can issue new shares of stock at any point in time. So you can't really say it's illegal. Is it opportunistic? Absolutely. Is it manip manipulation? Mm, not really on the company's part because they don't control that, right? They offer a certain number of shares, people buy them or they don't. So you really can't come after the company. And when you talk about swarm investing, you can't really go after individuals like you could if it was a hedge fund player in their, you know, one person in their or one company pulling the true pulling levers on this thing. You could come after them for manipulation. But what can you do uh, when the crowd is doing it? Right. The angry mob, the swarm, uh, if you will. So it really is an interesting uh, case study. But the difference, again, being that AMC is capitalizing on it. Uh, if you were checking in, if you checked in a little bit earlier, you heard that AMC now has the market cap bigger than half of the companies in the uh, S&P 500. And, you know, uh, like I said yesterday, unless they turn it into a dispensary or an amusement park or I, I mean, I don't know what, what they can do to justify this valuation, but um, they're going for broke. Uh, if you saw yesterday, we talked about it briefly. They're off, maybe I don't know if it's on air or not, but they're offering AMC shareholders. I think free popcorn, so that saves you $27 right there, right? Or whatever they charge now. Um, but they're offering, you know, interesting things. And TikTok was hilarious last night. Some folks are walking in, you know, to AMC, like they're the shareholders. It's like, actually, I'm a part owner of the firm, which, you know, that's why I like individual stocks, uh, because you are. But, you know, kind of, you know, telling the uh, employees to keep up the good work and just hilarious stuff that's out there. But it's affecting the market and largely it's affecting the headlines, which means that you know, when I look for things to trade this morning, I have literally like nine things that I don't like uh, <laughs> because they're not getting the, the sensationalism or the headlines or you know, all the news coverage they normally get because everybody's covering the, the AMC thing. Uh, so AMC swing, the highest I saw this morning was 18%. The low I saw was 7%. I'm looking at the chart. We'll take a look here in a second. It's uh, anywhere from the high of 77 this morning to the low of 53, it looks like. Yeah, crazy stuff. All right, so that's what we've got for you today. We're going to talk about that and swarm investing. Uh, let me hit the room back up. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Uh, hey, Silver, haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for chiming in, bud. Uh, hopefully your summer's going well. Uh, but yeah, get rid of most long-term debt, right? So here's what's going to happen. You know, uh, the stock is going to, and if you're participating, Silver, feel free to, to share your experience uh, I love it. Hopefully you're printing money, right? Um, <laughs> but I think what will happen from a share perspective is sure, they issued these shares, they kill off their debt. And what are they going to do when the stock goes back down to where it was, you know, a week ago at $10 from 60, uh, they're going to buy those back. 
right? You know, it's kind of genius, right? They're, they're getting like a, what would that be? A uh, 84% uh, 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 discount on their dollars. So brilliant, right? So uh, good on them. All right. So uh, thanks. So if you're catching us on replay, go ahead and make sure you subscribe and check the notifications bell. If you want to check us uh, live in the room, get in the uh, chat room, which you don't see, uh, 25 bucks a month to participate. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back everybody and again priority to get that video shortened i know 50 seconds of me is too long i got that all right here we are on today thursday already june 3rd uh make sure you have your chat window and your q a window set up appropriately standard disclaimer applies you have to do your own this is a financial education presentation you have to do your own due diligence before acting upon anything you hear this morning all right meme mania i do kind of like that so i'm stealing that for the title of my show uh today even though i heard uh brennan talking about that on cnbc this morning that was her her choice of words i like it uh mission objectives today grow our money protect our money live off our money today we're kind of taking a step away from traditional investing. Um, but, you know, even as a traditional investor, uh, just like, you know, anything else that's out there, if even if it's a fad, who knows what's going on again, you know, the history of some of this stuff, depending on who was in the room, we talked about it months ago. Uh, this was going on in AOL, AOL uh, chat rooms. Um, and I was actually going to, there were some interesting websites that they used to have. Uh, and I was scared to type them into my computer because I didn't want the anything uh, negative to pop up, but uh, that was called like gang investing back in the day. Uh, so, and they were using some other terms of how to uh, take it to the shorts, uh, short sellers and hedge funds, if you will, very colorful language. So not gonna bring any of those up, but uh, yeah, this is not a new idea, but I do think, you know, what, what's different now? Um, uh, you know, the smartphone, obviously you can do this all from the, you know, with your sitting wherever you are with a device in your hand that didn't happen a long time ago and plus we're coming off of a year where people have been largely sitting around their houses or if you're school age you're going to school from home so you've got a lot of time on your hands so really that self-education piece people are getting into investing you know robin hood brought a lot of people out you have acorns out there uh you know so have some really good ideas there's some nba initiatives to get some disadvantaged folks investing you know a lot of these things are really making sure that our next generations are a lot smarter than you know, old people like myself at, at an earlier age. And with that brings a lot of volume and it also brings a lot of a different style of investing. So even though I think largely, I'm personally staying out of the AMC thing, I'm dying to short it, but you know what? I would be part of the casualties. I'd be part of the uh, exact person that they're targeting if I hopped in with you know, a million dollars short on this thing, right? So I'm not gonna do that because that's specifically who they're targeting. Um, but yeah, it's a short all day long, but I'm not gonna take it. Right. Uh, but from a traditional investing standpoint, you do have to acknowledge these things. And if you want to participate, it's highly speculative. You're throwing a dart for sure. You don't know whether it's going up to the moon, you don't, you know, or not. Uh, you know how it all ends. So if you were going to take a long term investor's point of view, you could short it here at 60, but not very much because it could go to 180. Before, I mean, you just simply hold it. You know, it eventually will end up below 60. You just don't know when. But we'll look at the chart here in a second. All right, swarm investing, we'll get into that. There's no, uh, I, I pulled, tried to get Investopedia to give me a definition. They're not there yet. Uh, they, they probably will be by the end of the week though. All right, tactical objectives, uh, we just talked about flow, uh, long, short, open, short, long, mark review, headline review. We'll take a look at AMC, the chart, as well as GameStop and kind of see how, you know, maybe that gives us a prelude to how the AMC thing uh, will win. If you were in the room and you're in on GameStop and you made or lost money, if you feel like sharing, uh, that'd be cool. You know, everybody else can kind of learn from your experience or the, I was up big and then I was down big, you know, if you feel like sharing um, or other way around. 
<coughs> we'll get into the open and then contingencies and academic resources are standard. All right, let's go over and take a look at this chart that I keep talking about. So right here in the, uh, the middle uh, left pane is your AMC chart. Okay, this is the TD Ameritrade ThinkPipes platform. The dark blue days are your trading days. So you can see that, what, eight days ago, uh, the stock was down here at the $12 range, right? Currently it's 60, you know, 400% gain uh, right there from the 5X move, but uh, went all the way as high this morning as 77. So I have to keep checking my phone. I do have one investor that is involved that is gonna text me at his sell point. So, hmm, interesting. Uh, nothing yet. So uh, that's where we are as far as the chart. Uh, when we put GameStop next to it, just out of curiosity, we'll go side by side here. Uh, we'll go a 10 day. That's probably not enough. Well, GameStop's back in action, but um, tripled basically from where it was eight days ago. So again, that's the Wall Street bets room. If we go out a half year ago, uh, so this is a six month look, you can see it went from 40, touched uh, almost 300 here reset back into the 140s there's some resistance there and you know that's what when i say resistance these double bottoms here meaning that's when people are buying it and then they're doubled basically in the past three weeks so is gamestop the wave of the future absolutely not right it's dead weight just like amc but uh here it is right so it's it's factual it touched about the same area gamestop would be another thing if you were going to short don't take a huge position just short gamestop and then, then basically wait for it to come in and make yourself. So that's your long-term investment if you want to play it that way. Or try to day trade it, but you have no idea what's going to happen in the first you know, three or four minutes, which is what we uh, generally try to do around here is capture that move. Okay, that is the um, uh, GameStop and AMC. When we look at the overall market, where are we? We've had basically five flat days in a row, so not a whole lot going in the market. Uh, again, our traditional tailwinds for the market is stimulus infrastructure um, and uh, vaccine, you know, the economy opening. Uh, the economy opening is real, you know, trying to get out and hit a restaurant and, you know, people are everywhere. So, so again, the numbers for the next earnings reports are going to be very good. That's going to keep the market powering higher. Again, your two headwinds out there are your taxation and as well as your inflation concerns, uh, which is, you know, somewhat real, but not as huge as I think it was being made out to be not too long ago. All right, zoom on the five day. Here's the five day of the spy. So yeah, a little bit of negativity going into the morning. Everything's down across the board, but it is bouncing up. So maybe we'll have a positive day out there. All right, we'll come back and set up the short-term trading stuff here once we get to that portion of the show. All right, let's take a look at cnbc.com and we'll take a look at these futures. Refresh in here for you. All right, half a percent kind of across the board, if you will. Uh, and again, AMC shares whipsaw. So we'll see if there's uh, some headlines in here when we get to that. All right, Europe down across the board. Asia mix, not moving a whole lot. All right, bonds creeping higher, sitting at 1.6. Again, really nothing to worry about there. Oil getting uh, close to that $70 mark. So again, continuing to creep up. Uh, gold and silver have sold off, right? So that's where people have gone in for the inflation hedge. So it, it's basically, it tracks the inverse of inflation, right? So if inflation is dominating the headlines, gold and silver goes up. And when AMC is dominating the headline, nobody's talking about inflation, then again, it sells off. Uh, so, you know, pretty attractive entry points here. If you buy these, these are hedges. You're not trying to make a killing. You're just trying to bolster your portfolio if inflation starts rearing its ugly head. So consider. All right, crypto markets uh, up, a, up a little bit. Nothing uh, fantastic because everybody's, Money or everybody, you know, the high speed money, if you will, is going into uh, AMC right now. Okay. <clears throat> Calls of the day. I haven't seen any of those. Let's take a look at that, though. I'm sort of curious to see what they're saying. Uh, let's see. Boeing overweight, Bank of Uber is a buy, NVIDIA, yep. Tilray uh, to a buy. That is one of our um top, that is my top long for today based off of this upgrade, as well as Amazon you know, talking favorably about marijuana uh, yesterday. So that is good news. And don't say anything else in there that we need to talk about. All right. So Apple employees are uh, going to work. The stores are back open. They're returning three, week, three days a week in September. Sorry, not full-time, but three days a week. AMC mania. There was a jobless number in there. It was not necessarily... Uh, um, 
Notable. Okay. If you're going to get in on this trading thing, uh, as far as the, what the wall street bets are doing, again, you don't necessarily want their one they're in now. You want to try to figure out what's the next one. Well, Blackberry, which was our long uh, trade, I think on Tuesday, uh, again, has moved up 25 to 30% a day. So that's what I would call the derivative, right? So if you are want to get into this and you're going to put a bunch of your time and brain cells against it, try to make some money, get out on the, get out on the, the, the roadmap, right? Try to figure out what's next. Don't play the game that everybody else is playing now because easy money honestly has been made. In my opinion, you never know what's going to happen. All right. Ultra fast airplanes. You know, I like that. Boom, supersonic. Supersonic, supersonic air travel. Remember the Concorde? Yeah, hardly anybody does. That was a thing for a while. What was it? Three hours between New York and L.A.? Uh, kind of a trick, but certainly can be done. Uh, I saw Baffert got banned after uh, for two years. So no longer really a legend of the game. Uh, we'll see if he makes the Hall of Fame now, right? Or is it a doping scandal in the industry that shakes things up? All right, that is it for the headlines. Let's go on over to, was checking AMC or CNBC here, see if uh, they were talking about AMC going to the open. But all right, let's go over to uh, TD Ameritrade Think Pipes and set up for our trades of the day. Again, Tilray, we'll come back and check on AMC after it opens. Uh, Tilray long, space long, and Con. Con is a grocery store. We had these in Alaska and Eagle River. Um, C O N N, uh, get space in there, and then Con. Um, favorite crushed earnings, right? But it's low vol. So if you're going to go into Con, you have to wait. So just uh, be warned. All right, give me a second. We'll get going. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the on time on target play of the day. You have four screens in front of you. These are all soon to be one minute charts as we prepare for the market open here in just a few seconds. All right. All three of these are longs. Here's the market. You see Tilray is on an upgrade of 8%. You have space, which made a major announcement last night about putting research in, researchers in space. So people like that story. Not quite acting as I thought. Um, and then you have Con, which crushed earnings. So I like Con. You can see the buck 55 per share earnings down there at the bottom, but uh, you uh, have to, uh, you can't swing quite a big, big bat, if you will. All right. So I'm really looking at Tilray and I really kind of want to see the market going green here, uh, which maybe it may be not. So this is selling off pretty hard. This is profit taking. So that's a good sign when we're turning around and taking this long. There's obviously nothing going on that's negative here. Uh, normally we would have a 20 cent stop. Uh, it's going to flip here pretty quick. So let's go at 2020 back north. 2020, you're going long. And there it was. So that is your entry point. You're going to have a 1995. So that's a 25 cent stop. But your entry point, you can still grab it here at 2020. This is pretty aggressive. So I think this thing is going to flip and rip long pretty quick. I like the congestion right there. And you look at the bottom, uh, you know, millions of shares, right? A million and a half in the first minute. And then uh, building here quickly. So let's do some math. 2045 is our first R. 2090 is going to be our second. No, bad math. 2070, sound like Deadpool. Bad Deadpool. 2070 will be our uh, second R point. And then adding 25, which for some reason my math skills are not with me this morning, is up at 2095 as our exit. Um, so love this trade. Uh, would I take it here? You could still take it here. You just have to not, not go crazy uh with it because i think this thing ends up over 21 uh on the day pretty easy all right let's look at some other space look remember how it started negative there same sort of thing it turned around and flipped long uh could you have made an entry here at 3190 3220 um yeah if you took this so apex if you want to brag about your trades i know you took a different one yesterday if you took this one you're probably already out of it that's darn close to a 3r trade um we're at the 2r point and going strong all right, let's see what's going on in con. Again, low volume, but 2570. Again, that's going to creep up over the day. You know, can't really get in there with a couple thousand shares when there's only 8,000 shares being traded that minute. So, uh, but things are going well. All right, let's take a look at some of the other longs we have at SMTC. Simtech, don't know what they do. All right, here's our exit point for. Not quite there yet, give it a couple of pennies. Um, so getting close, but it went back down to two R. So that's a good sign. So be patient, get ready with 2095 as our exit point on a Tilray and we'll call it a day for trading. 
really? You're going to bounce off of 2094? What's a penny amongst friends? I know you're out there trying to kill this trade. Don't do it. See, I think it hit it. Really? That's kind of awesome. <laughs> there it hit it. So 2095, you're out of that trade and we are uh, good to go. So let's review the trade. Then we will move on for the day. Also, if you took uh, space, you just made money uh, as well. All right. So the entry point, again, we saw the market open. We were hot on this stock because of the um, upgrade that they got. It sold off aggressively. So this selling here is what allowed us to make money today. Only this selling. If this selling doesn't happen right here, then we get an entry point here and we're still staring at the screen uh, on into the day. So that's why you want this big sell off, which, which a lot of people are like, oh no, I don't want it. It just sold off what, 70 cents? Well, that's what allows us to draw that line, take that entry going back north. And again, it's aggressive, but that allows you to make your trade. So uh, to recap, in at 2020, protected down here at 1995. And uh, what, four and a half minutes in the day, four minutes in the day, we're up at the three hour point. So real nice trade. Space would have worked. Uh, let's see as well. SMTC, not enough volume to really hop in that. Let's look at some other names before we hop over to AMC. Uh, CLOV has been play. I believe that's a pharmaceutical, if I remember right, Clovis Pharmaceutical maybe. Okay, Clover Health Investments. <laughs> There's Clovis Oncology. That was one I was thinking of. It went long. There's no real entry here, though. And you see it didn't work. So that's the difference in these entries. That big selling off initially gives you that uh, gives you that upside. All right. Let's take a look at SPI. Also had a pretty uh, awesome story this morning about they have an app that, you know, this may be something to look at long term. Um, I'm going to put that in my notes for, for right now is uh, they have an app that monitors your solar system and their solar system, uh, your solar package that's on your house, if you will. And I know this stuff exists for, for Tesla and maybe for Solar City. May, so maybe this is not groundbreaking, uh, but certainly, you know, right now you can manage your home security system from your phone, your entire network you can manage from anywhere and look at all the devices that are logged on it. So again, if this is tracking electricity, uh, power generation, power, remember if you have these, on your uh, house, you can sell your po extra power back to the city, uh, that sort of thing, and get paid for it. Um, if it's monitoring all that real time, that's kind of cool. So uh, maybe something to take a look at long term. All right, look at Tilray, power and hire, love it. That also means, let's check the other uh, marijuana names, CGC, sympathetic, up uh, 3% or so. Uh, let's look at uh, MJ which again is the index fund, I have a ton of people into that uh, as well for the long-term marijuana theme. Let's look at kind of a derivative of that, mind medicine and selling off. So it didn't parlay into mind med, but uh, things are obviously continuing higher here for uh, Tilray. All right, let's go side by side with AMC and GameStop and see what's going on there. Back out to a five day, 15 minute type chart, just so you can see the action. So these are kind of trading together. So, well, they had all this, but once it got, now that AMC has taken the day, uh, they're, they're basically kind of flat. So again, wh wh where, do you, where do you throw your dart here? Down at 54, do you really say it's going long after looking at that, really? Um, I don't know that you can do that, but 20 million shares trade in hands. So, so much for diamond hands. Uh, 20 million shares, right? That, and the, that's the first 15 minutes. So um, same thing over here in GME. I don't know, going higher or lower, I don't think you have anything to hang your hat on. So you're guessing. We don't want to guess. Now look at Tilray. So to carry this out, if that's four R's right there, this would have been about a seven R trade had you held some. I would, No way. I would just take the three R's and be done. But Anyhow, it worked. All right, let's check the chat real quick. Up $180, $810 on Tilray, high fives to Burner. Up 530 on Space, another high five uh, to Burner, plus 3R on Tilray. So yeah, that's why we're here. Tell all your friends. All right, let's go switch out of day trading mode and go into look at what's going on in the market, which is in the red. Uh, S&P, there's, I'd say, maybe 15% of the names are in the green here. Uh, looking off to the left, you can see Empower, Clickstream, there's the marijuana, uh, MJ, Nicola, Gilead, Pfizer. I mean, literally, what, 12 names in the green. So uh, 
high fives if you scalp some money out from trading because your portfolio is in the red right now, probably bigger than your day trading, but that's the way it works. Oh, FireEye, fantastic. We just talked about FireEye and said, let's go buy that. And now it's down 11%. <coughs> so don't see any earnings. So don't know what's going on with uh, FireEye. Um, I'll take a note if you can find it as to why it's selling off so hard. Uh, let's see if that is bleeding over to Palo Alto. A little bit. And then of course, cyber down a buck and a half or 1.1 and a half percent and then hack. Also down eh, a little bit. So anyhow, we'll see if we can figure out what's going on with uh, FireEye. You got AMC down 10% now. So have fun. Silver selling off, Palantir selling off, uh, Wynn selling off. Ooh, a lot of my favorite names. So uh, it's been a good good week so far, up nicely. It looks like uh, we're giving some of that back today. Let's pull up the SPY and see how far down it's dropped. So 0.7, so that means the NASDAQ's gonna be down over a percent already. So could be the big red day that we're seeing out there. Um, all right, we're seeing that FireEye's uh, been sold to a PE firm. We'll see if that's a partial sale or if it's a complete sale. But uh, obviously, there's more to follow on that. Generally, that helps the stock. So I'm kind of curious as to why uh, maybe the price that they offered for them is uh, lower than the current share price, which that's about the only time. You know, maybe they're paying 20 bucks a share. And then, of course, the uh, stock price dives to whatever level that is. Same thing happens in reverse. If they buy, get a buyout at 25, then, of course, it goes up to 25. All right, let's come back to on camera here real quick. Going to bring you back over to swarm investing definition. I bring this up as kind of a joke. Um, is So it's really what it is. It's the angry mob investing. It's the swarm, uh, whatever you want to call it. There's really nothing here other than uh, the technology of swarm and blah, blah, blah. So that's why I kind of bring this up is because there's really nothing here. Uh, so what is going to, you know, are we still talking about this six months ago? I think we are. I really do. I think that the, um, you know, there's going to be so much momentum uh, behind this and so many people making money. And of course, the people, it's just like gambling or anything else. The people that lose money tend to either fade, you know, stop playing, stop, you stop doing it or whatever. Um, and those that make money continue doing it, thinking they can make money forever. And maybe they can. Maybe there's a skill, skill portion of this, which again, if you, if the same people make money all the time, then there's obviously skill to it. Otherwise, you know, it's not completely random like a game of chance. So no real definition of swarm vesting yet, but I do think it is uh, coming out there. All right, so that's all I've got for you today. Nice, uh, nice trade this morning, but uh, look out below on the market. We'll see what happens with the market today. And we will, uh, Silver, good seeing you again. Thanks for coming back in the room. And uh, we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.